everybody. It's Allie. Um, it's Sunday, January 31st, and I was not going to do a vlog today um, because I have errands to run, and then it occurred to me that I can just uh, make a video while I'm driving in my car because that's totally uh, safe and responsible. Um, but I didn't want to go the week without discussing the new Tucker. That's my favorite uh, thing that I want to talk about. And um, all right, so Stephen Nichols. Okay, what do you think? I mean, you know me, I like to be open-minded to recasts. Um, I really liked William Russ, I think was the name of the last actor. Uh, and I seem to remember Stephen Nichols, possibly from his days on General Hospital. Did he? <laughs> Did he wear an eye patch on General Hospital? Because that's the vision that I have of him. Uh, I'm always game for, for a, a good eye patch, so he, he could be all right with me. I don't know. Okay, new, new uh, Tucker. He's low-spoken. He's much more serious. I think he's real serious and much more cold. And it seems like, I don't know, it seems like he doesn't have a, a, like a, a sense of humor about him the way the other Tucker did. Apparently that YNR was just wanting to go in a different direction, which is fine. Uh, but I, I liked the sense of humor of the old actor. Although I have to say it was pretty funny when he called the meeting at uh, of all of the Chancellor uh, high execs and he told them immediately that his first order of business was to fire them all. That was actually pretty funny, but in a sick and kind of cruel way, um, which was not very nice at all. Um, I'm, I'm not, you know, I think it's interesting that Jill's still sleeping with him. I thought that after he um, lied to her and kind of manipulated her and stole Catherine's company that maybe Jill would stop banging him, but apparently that's not the case. And now everything is just completely awkward at Chancellor now. Everyone is, everyone is totally awkward. Uh, you know, Tucker and Catherine had a confrontation this week, and there was a lot of talk about business versus personal, and Tucker was doing his best to convince Catherine that his decision to take over her company was not personal. And I think that's a load of crap, and I think everybody kind of knows that's a load of crap. And what's, you know, I guess philosophically, I'm asking the question, because I like to challenge things, why... Why is it that the decisions you make personally and the decisions you make in business have to be different? Why is there any kind of difference? You know, I mean, isn't, isn't, you know, people try to compartmentalize, you know, I think, you know, business decisions so that maybe it allows them to make choices that aren't morally consistent for them. You know what I mean? Aren't all decisions just decisions and does it really matter if it's personal versus business? I don't know, let me know. <laughs> let me know what you think about that. It's philosophy or, or ethics 101 with Ali. Uh, but anyway, now Jabot is going to be sold to the highest bidder and surely Victor and Jack and Catherine will all be clamoring, lining up, just waiting to bid on Jabot. But you know, since uh, Tucker mentioned that all of the bids are going to be sealed, I have this feeling I can almost see a dark horse kind of coming in and sweeping up uh, Jabot, you know, and none of the major players will get it. And I can almost see maybe Neil sweeping in there and picking up that business and owning Jabot. I would really love to see that happen. I don't know. We'll see. Whoa. Oops. <laughs> this is totally irresponsible. Okay, so <laughs> the other big news in Genoa City this week is that Adam quit Newman. He quit working for Newman. And frankly, I'm very pleased to have Adam out of Nick's hair at Newman. I was getting sick of that whole thing. And now he's working for Tucker, which I love. I think it's a great matchup. Tucker and Adam against pretty much everybody in Genoa City. It's like the two outcasts, the two evil, the two rotten apples working together. I like it. Um, and now, Adam, I almost said poor Adam and I didn't mean it. Adam now has all of his dirty laundry hanging out for everyone in the world to see because Victor decided to tell all about Adam in a Restless Style article. He let it all hang out. Victor just told the truth. Um, <laughs> I loved, I 
particularly love the line, my son is a sociopath, because it is true. Ne'er was there a truer statement said. <laughs> Adam is a sociopath, and I love the article. I love that Victor came out with it. Um, Adam! <laughs> oh, that was a cop. <laughs> Adam! Um, he had an interesting reaction. First of all, I was surprised that he could even read the article. Adam reads really well for a blind guy. Um, but he... First, he, you know, first he, he was all sad and kind of whiny about it, but then he got upset and uh, there was this confrontation at the club where <laughs> Victor, Adam kind of got up in Victor's face. I don't know what Adam's going to do. Um, Adam got up in Victor's face and it looked like it's going to turn into a really good fight next week. That was the end of the show. And of course, our boy Billy was there filming the entire thing. I love that Billy is the new gossip magazine in Genoa City. It's wonderful. <laughs> hey, has anybody seen Phyllis's gloves? Her gloves? They're like shiny leather, like shiny plasticky leather gloves. And they're so gorgeous. I want a pair really bad. They're like Catwoman, sexy. I really love them. I've seen them like in, in the last couple of episodes and they're gorgeous. And speaking of cats, speaking of cat fights, uh, <laughs> there was a, a preview of Monday's show in which apparently Phyllis decided to get up in Sharon's face again about, probably about her relationship with Adam. And Sharon just looks at Phyllis very calmly and she says to her, you know, you need to back off, bitch. And it was very matter of fact. And it, it was great. I can't wait to see it on Monday. It's going to be a good one. Um, speed limit changed. What else is going on in Genoa City? JT and Mac seem to be uh, potentially... Oh, another cop. Um, JT and Mac, <laughs> I live in a police state. Um, we all do. Um, JT and Mac seem like they're hitting it off. Is that interesting to you? I don't know. I mean, I think that they would make a good couple, but maybe that's kind of boring. I'm not sure. What else is going on in GC this week? Since I'm kind of, I'm kind of out, I'm out and about, I would love to hear your thoughts. What am I missing? What major storylines did I miss? Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, I love hearing from you. And I guess that's it for now. If you want to go to my website, it's buttonhead.org. There's always something, something going on with me during the week. Um, but if you can't, I will just see you guys next Sunday.